we're developing the foundational tools and knowledge in order to be able to engineer our uh, uh, biological systems, right? The most sophisticated technology on the planet um, to be able to do new and, and useful things, including potentially reconstituting uh, life itself. Can we can re-engineer our uh, immune system to now be able to precisely go after cancers? But also, how can we open up new interfaces with our body, not only in the brain, but also... Yes, welcome back. Reconstituting life itself. I want to say this openly. I would like if these people would just operate within their own sphere. I don't understand why all of this invasive tech is fostered upon everyone. Transforming medicine and redefining life, life as we know it and humans as we know them uh, today. It's like biotech, one no control group, just like 100% of participation Going forward, at any cost, we know backup plan. Humanity doesn't need engineering. It doesn't need to be changed. This is only exciting to people who think that science is more important than nature itself. By the way, that goes for our food as well. Start saving seeds. Because... When you start seeing situations like this, they are making it clear they want to reconstitute the human life. Sometimes I wonder where these people are teething to. It is even clear they don't even hide it again. Before we go into this full analysis on this clip, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that and if possible, share this video and check if your notifications are being turned on. So when I drop the video, you will easily be notified. Go after cancers. But also, how can we open up new interfaces with our body, not only in the brain, but also in the gut? You have all the information about how the person's heart, lungs, livers uh, uh, work you can know what's going to happen to them. There are some ideas around that. That has an impact on insurance, that has an impact on uh, social connects, it has an impact on your employment. Um, somebody can look up your CV and find the data. So like, I don't think you're going to be around for the next three years, so I'm not giving you a job. <laughs> the biggest challenge for us was um, when we went to the FDA um, and regulators, um, there was a big question around, okay, this has never been done before. How can a, uh, you know, AI automatically dose a patient? When there was a level of um, uh, accuracy issue and we felt that a clinical oversight is needed, we had a clinical oversight. Okay, so you uh, still need the humans, right? Uh, we, we needed the humans 5% of the times. Oh gosh, okay. Look, we needed no, the humans. We will not talk about the 95%, but let's take some. Let's... Wearable brain sensors are coming. We don't have very good brain data sets right now, particularly of healthy individuals with continuous monitoring over time. How many of you will willingly share your data? Your brain data, continuous monitoring of your brain. Okay, you didn't ask me with whom. <laughs> if we can design our world differently, which we can, so that that's not the fear that people have, that there's actually a benefit that they see societally for humanity, to share their data, then we'll get these insights. AI will transform and revolutionize healthcare and what it means to be human. Like I said at the beginning of the clip, humanity does not need engineering and it cannot be changed. I don't know if these people struggle to overpower God. Like you saw with Rebel News, they went after Pfizer CEO with a few questions and he rejected to answer any question. NBC News had an interview with him in Davos. This is what he said. I think what the CDC said was that uh, they saw a signal in one small database and as a result they triggered a very comprehensive review of all databases in existence and they discovered nothing. So then, just, but just for transparency, we had seen a signal, we tested, we found nothing. The same is with us. 
Uh, we were alerted that they found that. We'll do it our own investigation in all databases in Europe, Israel, and the U.S., and we found in none of them anything. None of them. So none are, are them. you continuing anything. to look into safety issues? People wonder if it makes me people more vulnerable to cardiac arrest. You, you've, arrest you've, you've seen all the, you know, some conspiracies and some, you know, valid... Yeah, irrelevant from conspiracy or not, we have a team that constantly does this. They are collaborating with major scientific institutions. Yes, I want to use just the exact word of this reporter. There has been a lot of conspiracies online where people speculate that this is given that, it's given this. Now, this CEO is struggling to clarify the public that the CDC found nothing, that everything is balanced and okay. Like you saw, like you heard him. In another video, I came across where this representative in Saudi Arabia, there is something that he said. There will be no cars in the future. traffic you can go to different places very efficiently without uh, using cars there are no cars not um, one single car it's uh, it's going to be different types of transportation that are uh, like I said environmentally friendly there will be uh, it's based on renewable energy it last week global elites and world leaders gather in Davos Switzerland for the World Economic Forum annual summit had there been Minister of State for the Foreign Affairs and Climate Envoy for Saudi Arabia said at a recent meeting in Switzerland, there will be no cars. It can be recorded that Saudi Arabia unveil a new futuristic city that will host 9 million people within a massive 1,000 feet high 109 mile long mirror war in the middle of the desert. To put that in perspective, the reflect the reflective I saw will be taller than the Empire State Building and the Eiffel Tower once it is completed.